I definitely saw within my two placements different teaching styles, different student population, different settings in general, and um, both of those have helped me to, they've just given me a wide experience where I can kind of see where I fit and pull from different experiences and form my own teaching style. Both male cooperating teachers, um, both, I'm happy to say, very friendly and, um, and very easy interactions. My first one was a fellow football coach, so actually they paired us up nice. It was, they, they joked that it was like meeting twins at the meet the teacher night when they came for the reception. But it, we were very close, still keep in contact to today and in the future, hopefully. Um, my second cooperating teacher, a little different, but again, very easygoing, um, and they're there to help. And that was the biggest thing that I loved was that they'd watch my first lesson of the day. They'd help me change it if I had to and say, hey, maybe try this second period and see how you like it. And that, that really helped me grow as a teacher because I'm not going to be perfect day one and from Jump Street. So when I'm my third, fourth period, now I'm really hitting the flow because they've helped me and then I've got my own ideas and make it my own. Communication was key. Just being able to discuss what things weren't going well in lessons, what things were going well. Both of my cooperating teachers were very good with that and they worked with me really well on discussing not as much of a criticism kind of thing, but more of just a conversation about how can we make this better or what are some things that you did very well. Supervisors would come in um, once or twice a week and they came in to observe and then as soon as I had a free period or a free time, um, they would ref I would reflect with them about my lesson and how it went and how, how I thought it went first and then um, the things that they noticed and things that I could improve on or things that I did well. My first placement at Cleveland Elementary School, a student had hit his chin and he started to cry. And he, I asked him, I said, what do you want to do? So I gave him the choice and my supervisor was right there and acknowledged that you went about that the correct way. You asked him, what does he want to do? You gave him that option. So you're thinking, oh, no one's going to look at this. No one knows what I'm doing in the classroom. But that's what's nice about having the supervisor. They do catch the good moments and they will congratulate you on those. So the seminar um, is very helpful for kind of problem solving usually. Um, you kind of can come in, you can discuss what's going on. Uh, it's also helpful for kind of venting for, you know, problems that might happen in the classroom because you're not going to have a great day every day. And, and I think it's just really helpful as, you know, kind of a support system. I'm not going to sit here and say it was the easiest thing in the world, but it's going to reaffirm your love of teaching and you're going to realize that you couldn't imagine your life any other way.